Richard Upper, welcome back to Shot Talk. Good to be here. So I took this picture of um, Eddie Van Halen and David Lee Roth in the limousine and standing in front of the McDonald's arches. And what year was this? This was 1978. It was pretty cold. And you can see them in their, their ski jackets. This was a promotional tour put together by Warner Brothers to promote their first hit single, You Really Got Me. And we were going around all the radio stations in the Midwest and the East Coast and record distribution centers with, for a meet and greet. And so we have a lunch break and we're driving down Watson Road in Crestwood. It's in the limo. In while the limo. David, while David in, in, is kind of doing something to make himself hungry. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, um, he's fussing on the record album. Um, so we stopped at this McDonald's because of this great arch that they had there. It was just beautiful. And um, so we grab our meals and we're walking back to the, uh, the limousine. And I say to Eddie, I said, Eddie, I got to get a shot. This is, this is too cool. And he goes, yeah. And they're already starting to eat because they can't wait to get back to the limousine. There was a whole like photo session going on while they're eating outdoors. And so we go in front of the shot, take the picture. This is the best picture of that series of them in front of the arch. We get back in the limousine and we're moved to the next radio station. This was KC, by the way, in Crestwood. And St. Louis. St. Louis, right. St. Which Louis. we found out with after the guys from KC and the Keeping the Music Lab thing there did the forensic search because we had it mislabeled on the site for years as Detroit. That's right. And then they went and did that whole forensic search and found out exactly where it was, what time of day it was, who was wearing what perfume. I mean, they were amazing. They were amazing. And they, and they, they nailed it. They did. They nailed it. They and did. I apologize and thank them profusely for making that making the world right again. Well, the thing is, is that picture became so iconic. It has. And we had it mislabeled. That caused more attention to it, if you think about it. And so it did call for a bit of an investigation. Only a fa true fan would, would, would have pulled that off the way they did. Well, it shows you how many, how many places we went to in a day and, you know, trying to keep that all straight. Um. <laughs> well, thankfully, you documented it that way. And then it's turned into this whole full, full circle. That was what... Like we said, early 78, here we are, 2022, and you just got back from St. Louis and because they ordered the eight foot by five foot to That's be provided right. for them. That's right. This came out a lot better than I expected. This is a, a print going into St. Louis or the Crestwood McDonald's uh, outside of Crestwood, actually in this, this very McDonald's here where this shot was taken. I guess to memorialize the moment. That was, a, that was a great moment. Uh, McDonald's decided to add one, their, their own version of that, an eight foot print, the only one in existence, in their new remodeled restaurant. And, the way they and that did, was 44 years to the day about. Here we are with the install and the ceremony and this, it got a lot of press and everybody was just like, oh my gosh, now it's like the most Instagrammable or will be the most Instagrammable McDonald's That's in the right. world. It's found a home. It has definitely found a home, but how full circle is this? Complete, <laughs> 360. Well, there you have it, Richard. Thank you. All right.